Greetings, everyone. Today is the Solemnity of St. Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary and protector of the Universal Church. And so it's a great solemnity. It's supposed to be a great day of celebration in the life of the Church. And so I know that many of you probably who are listening to this maybe don't feel like celebrating much, huh? We've been under um, a great deal of isolation and concern and, and anxiety, really. But um, maybe we aren't going to be out uh, celebrating in the streets and such, but certainly we can celebrate and give honor to St. Joseph simply by prayer today um, and by taking time to ask for his intercession, um, asking our Lord to send his protective help, the protective help of his foster father, St. Joseph. So I'd encourage you, you can Google, we love to do that, don't we? But you can Google the Litany of St. Joseph, Maybe pray that with your family, or if you're alone, certainly pray that by yourself. Powerful um, intercessory prayers, asking for the intercession of our dear Lord and um, St. Joseph. So, yesterday, I desired to communicate with you via a video, much like I'm doing today, but I learned a few things about myself. Your pastor probably, you think, has many wonderful talents, but one of them that he does not have is he's not very tech savvy, huh? And so that video, I strived all day to get it uploaded onto our website. I was unsuccessful and finally in discouragement, which does happen even to your priest, I deleted it. So here I am again today trying another avenue. So greetings to everyone. I know that these days have been difficult and somewhat even difficult for us to understand. As you know, Bishop Fulda has canceled all public masses and gatherings, devotions in the Diocese of Fargo. Our school is closed, and a number of things are happening around us seemingly out of our control. But Bishop does so um, out of concern for us. He desires us to be healthy and to be safe. Huh? And so we thank him for that concern, and certainly we lift him up in prayers. These things are never easy and very, very difficult, certainly for the shepherd of souls to um, ask it people not to come to Mass or not to come to devotions or to support in closing schools um, and those types of things. That's not easy. And so lift Bishop Folda up in prayers and um, and also... I wanted to speak to you a little bit about, offer some encouragement. <clears throat> I know that these days are, as again, are difficult, but we have to always believe huh? what Jesus tells us, that I am with you always. Huh? Be not afraid. And so don't get discouraged. Don't get disappointed. Um, these things will come to pass. And what we learn in these things are what's most important about our lives, huh? Maybe our family, um, our faith, uh, you know, the people that we love. All these things are very, very important to us. And we learn those kinds of valuable lessons in life when we go through these kinds of struggles and hardships and times of questioning um, that come our way. And so I just want to encourage you, know that we priests are praying for you. We're having our private masses every day. <clears throat> We're praying the intentions that are listed uh, for the weekly in the weekly bulletin. So those are being covered, be assured of that. And, um, but we're praying every day. We're together in this. And in the days ahead, we come to back to the website. I will continue to have my staff update things giving you some resources and maybe some more videos of myself. That all sounds great, it? Um, right? So we all want uh, to see each other, hear from each other. And so know that we miss you. We think about you. Um, we know that this is a time of uh, uncertainty and struggle, uh, but it also is a time for us to stir up our confidence in God and um, to know that he is with us and that he loves us and that he will watch over us and guide us. The other thing I want to encourage you to do is, since we have all this home time, huh? It's a good time to pray, good time to gather your family, or if you're alone, to pray, um, in particular to our Blessed Lady, to um, pray the rosary. If you don't know how to pray the rosary, again, Google it. 
huh? How do I pray the rosary? And you'll get all the information you need there. But um, even praying 10 Hail Marys, one hour father, periodically through the day, um, I will give you consolation and great solace. Know that our Blessed Mother is concerned for us. She loves us. She desires always to point us to Jesus, he who is our life, he who showers his mercy upon us, he who gives us strength to persevere. Turn to Our Lady in these days. Pray the rosary together as a family. And... Um, or pray to at least 10 Hail Marys, as I said, and one hour, Father, periodically throughout the day. Um, Mary will help us. She will draw us closer to her divine son. And so um, finally, I just want to, again, um, encourage you and to know that I'm here. Us priests are here. If you need anything, you call. Um, for now, you can stop by the office. We're open. We're here. And uh, we can visit um, and uh, we will put update things on the schedule as far as the schedule goes on our website. So be attentive to that. Um, I'm still dealing with, we're all getting used to this right now. And so I want to do things right. I want to do things I can uh, continue. I want to do things that are helpful um, for you and uh, so that you can find this, um, this time of struggle, indeed, um, spiritually fruitful for you. And so um, we ask our Lord in particular in these days to strengthen us, console us, um, give us peace, uh, heal us, shower his mercy upon us. And we ask the good, faithful St. Joseph, patron of family life, to watch over us, just like he watched over the Holy Family and protected them from every evil we ask his protections upon each of us, upon our families, upon our parish, so that we, all of us together, in this time of struggle and difficulty, might remain faithful and ever followers and servants of the Lord who loves us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. God bless you.